Yep, we're back. No crazy random intros, no none of this. We're, we're just going right back to where we left off. Although, to be fair, by the time this is probably happening, uh, YouTube, it would have been at least a week. Which, it's complicated. But nonetheless, welcome, welcome, viewers, to my 100 sub special part 2 for Persona 4 for the classic PS2. Yes, this is the OG Persona 4. I will showcase in case any naysayers think otherwise. But yes, this is the OG classic, and I want to do something special. Because as I've talked about in the first part, which I'm assuming most of you guys are watching, I decided to do a celebration the fact that I've gotten a hundred of you lovelies to join my ranks. For good reasons, or for permanent reasons, or for temporary states, I still want to express my gratefulness. And I figured, what better way to celebrate that than by playing a game that's truly in the core of my heart. A game that not only helped me through some very trying times, I talked a brief part of it, uh, part of it during my first part, but a game that truly, like, it, it helped save me. It, it really honestly did for a myriad of reasons. And I hope you viewers are ready for it. Uh, for those who are joining me on Twitch, yeah, like I said, a lot of things uh, I already explained back in part one, the things I, uh, reasons why I had to break it up because I didn't want the video being way longer. I could have done a little bit more, but I figured it was a good stopping point. I could just do part two because, I mean, it made more sense to me. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are right for this. Uh, and if anyone isn't right now, excuse me, if anyone is jumping into part two, which you can tell by the title, it's part two. But if you're jumping into part two and there's some things that you're missing, I urge you to please watch part one. It'll make a lot more sense where we got off to this part. Um, the last thing I will say though is I have been, uh, I, I said in the beginning part, there's been some tech issues. Um, so if things get a little like wacky, I apologize. Try my best with a little PS2, but let's just deal with the classics, all right? So yeah, I want to celebrate the fact that I'm doing a special in honor of my sub things. Um, I could have done Golden, yes, but I figured I'd do the classic version because it's different. You don't really see many people, I think, playing this on Twitch. I mean, if they do, then never mind. I thought I was being special and unique, but this day and age, who isn't? Um, but yeah, like I talked about in the first part, uh, Persona 4 saved my life. Uh, to give a little brief recap, I talked about how I moved a lot, and there was definitely a number of moments, one specific crucial moment, where I moved from my old spot in Hackensack, New Jersey, to Columbia, Maryland, during the school year. And I understand being the new kid thrown into a random amount of cir a new circumstance, a new environment is different, to say the least. It took some getting used to. Um, but yeah, I, I've i been there. I, it sucks for a lot of reasons, but it's just something that happened. Um, I already talked about it in further detail of part one, but once we get to a less dramatic moment, I'll talk about part two. I can kind of understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. I mean, not with that attitude. What should we do? Uh, go with Yosuke. Stop, Yosuke. Let Chie decide, eh? Hmm. Get people up to speed. Uh, the lovely Saki Konishi found herself murdered. This is spoilers, watch part one. Uh, and Yosuke, obviously in his right mind, wants to go investigate. So he wants to go check out some weirdo world that we discovered just the other day. Uh, not gonna lie, Yosuke, I'm a little upset. I'm a little scared, but I can't not go with you. Like, I... I understand your pain. I'm gonna go with him. Uh, you, you serious? Yeah, dead serious. Uh, anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. I mean, we could, but it'd be a really bad look. Last thing I need is a really bad look. Is that a golf club and rope? You guys came. You have golf club and rope? That's your. Why do you have a golf club rope? I don't. I don't I'm. You're gonna have to explain this one because I. I didn't go through school with my dashing good looks. I graduated because I like to think I'm a little bit smarter than the average bear. I uh. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing with this, my man. We came to stop you, idiot. Wait, what? No, I was gonna join him. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. 
I know, but we were able to come back once, right? What do you mean we'll come back again? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Oh, uh, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, I thought you finished the live. Well, so, I want to do a part two. Uh, because I, well, I want to get something to eat. I had to use the restroom, and I also had to, like, organize my thing. I was also trying to get a better handle on my, uh, my PC setup. Or, my uh, laptop setup, I should say. Uh, for those wondering on YouTube, I'm talking to Mr. Loxfly, uh, who jumped in for the first time on part one. Please watch. Um, I thought to myself, I want to test it and see, because, uh, my battery is about to die, and I do have a plug, but it is kind of taxing it, so... I'm going to try it a little bit more, but if it doesn't work, then what I'm probably going to do is just consider this, like, a very, like, partial part two, and I'll probably carry it over on the weekend. We'll see. If the tech keeps, like, failing, and I really, like, can't stop my hunger, I'll probably just call it. I don't want to, though, because I really want my special to be really good, but uh, I can't stop what my body craves, I suppose. Also, for the focusing on the game. Uh, if we go from the same location, maybe we'll meet the bear again. I don't know if we want to meet the bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Start. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but. What about you? Could you just walk away? Yes, with my legs. I'm out of here. Uh, I can't leave it alone. This doesn't involve me. I'm worried about Chie. I mean, I can't leave it alone either. Or should I say I'm worried about Chie? I have no reason to say the middle part. I'll say I'm worried about Chie. Oops, oops. No telling what may happen over there. What's your concern over Chie coming along? Eh, your understanding is increased. Which... I wish I was rewarded for things like that, IRL. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Golf club? No, stupid, the rope. Huh? What's that? A, a rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. I don't know if she's strong enough to... Never mind. What? Then is this a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here. This is for you. A golf club? What do you get? Well, I got the rope. What? Don't I? Don't you think I should get the rope too? Yeah, but I'm gonna like hold on to you real tight, so you'll be fine probably. Probably isn't good enough. Eh, details, details. Oh, and, and medicine. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, cool. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. Alright, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Oh, my stomach's killing me. I don't want to end the stream. I just started it. I'm so hungry. Oh, so I said, by the way, join the server just because I realized you had this server. Yes, thank you. Thank you for joining. I'm very grateful for you. Uh, and for those listening in, or who are curious, or you just want to see more, or join a small growing community that I hope becomes better and bigger, with more and more people to love, I created a uh, Discord uh, way, way long ago, uh, under the waiting room, where I have two different things there. I have the waiting room where you can join amongst others, share your details, thoughts, or whatever. We try to be calm, don't do, like, nasty, gross things. We try to be civil. Uh, and if you're also in the art side of things, or appreciation for more culture, like, say, music or arts, or even have your own drawings, in my Discord, I also have the artist block, where you'll find great people like the lovely star who does some detailed art. Just to throw a little plug in there, why not? Because it's gonna help cope with the fact that Yosuke's gonna grab me a golf club, three medicines, and it's like, eh, we'll figure this out. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. All right, well, I guess we're just going in. Seriously, don't let go of the rope. Like, I know you're tempted to do it because he broke, like, your Trial of the Dragon DVD, but...
Uh. Freaking Yosuke, your plan sucks. See, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Damn it! Why did I listen to you? This is because you have an amazing god to your voice, right? Ugh! Why? Why are the people that have the nicest voices I always fall for? I can't wait to get to that level myself. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before I continue, they also said, doesn't mean we don't bully V, but that's also the unspoken law you need to bully the streamer. Is that an unspoken law? I don't remember that being a thing. But that doesn't stop you guys from ripping me a new one. I mean, I find now it funny. What? But I don't know if that's a law. I'm calling a little bit of hogwash <laughs> on that one. Does it be? Guys are B. Also, Yosuke, your plan sucks. Is this like, dude? You can look at your own rope on your side. It's it's split somehow. Look, this is the same place as last time, so they are connected from place to place. Hey, you guys, why'd you come back? Also, I should share this. Uh, while I was doing my little in between. Um, I got curious. I looked up the voice actor for Teddy, uh, because it was bothering the crap out of me. Like, when I went to the can, I was like, what the frick is Teddy's OG voice actor's name? His name is Dave Wittenberg. I was right on the Dave part, but I'm so sorry, Dave. I, I could not think for the life of me, uh, what your last name is. However, uh, yeah, it was just bothering me for, like, the longest time, because I, I just couldn't, like... I couldn't think of like what his uh uh what his name was. It, it bothered like all the crap out of me. So I know some people are like, "Oh, what are some of the things he's done?" I I try to like find other things he's done. Uh, because I know he was just other than Teddy, but I, I couldn't really think of anything else other than I know he was in Zat. I I looked up like some of his work on Wiki. Like I said, he was a uh, Kakashi, uh like OG Kakashi, um in the old school Naruto things. And I was like. Really? That was him? And then I had to like look up a clip and I was like, wow, if that is, then that's some crazy range. But yeah, that's right. I just blew you guys' mind, or at least as far as Wiki's concerned, which to be fair could be edited because it's Wikipedia, I can't trust it 100%. But yeah, I want to believe in a world where this cute bear is also the same voice as one of the most badass people in Naruto. Hello, bear. Thing. I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. Can? How? I just can. Uh, don't don't worry about it. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. Very suspicious. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to say it. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Hell no. Don't label us like that or shut up. Hmm. I know what you, Narakami, would say, but what would V say? Shut up. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Oh. Wait a sec. Yeah, I just thought about it too. All this talk about someone throwing people in here, does he mean Senpai and the announcer? He might. It means you might be really on to something. Okay. Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? I think you might be striking gold. Uh, they must be it. They accidentally fell in, or I don't know. Gotta be, right? Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case, what are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? I'm trying to investigate a murder, Bear. Shut up and let us think. It's a one-way door. 
You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life... Li <laughs> like, I gotta really wonder... It must have been a pull, right? He must have felt tension from the rope. So, surely... Yosuke would have been able to feel the tension of if, if it was connected to the other side, or at least Chie's side, yeah? Because, you know, science. But he didn't... Either there was a lot of rope, which to be fair could be, or Yosuke's Yosuke. So, I don't know. Eh, eh, it's probably overanalyzing this. What? Yeah. You better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Uh, I'm not throwing people in here. <laughs> and then the bear's like, yeah, okay. I believe you guys. Have fun. Uh, proof doesn't work that way. Shut up. See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up. Because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. I plead the fifth. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. What? It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Shadows? Ah, I get it. If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? I feel like that's a crucial thing to know. What are these shadows that you speak of? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying that you might be the culprits. Hmm. Feel uh, a lack of confidence on that uh that uh, accusation there, Mr. Bear. I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Yeah, you're deaf. Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. I don't think the bear knows what you're talking about. Huh? I don't get it. See? His, his, his eyes that are just staring into your soul now that I still think about it. Does... Do you blink? Can, can, can you blink? Just once. Just just blink for daddy. Come on. Just, just, just blink, please. Like, your, your ears are twitching, but you're not changing your eyes, like, at all. Yep, I'm gonna have nightmares about you. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Uh, always been like this? What do you mean? Or, run that by me again? I mean, it's essentially synonymous with each other, so I'm just gonna go with always been like this? Only me and Shadows are here, I told you before! Look, we don't know what these Shadow things are, or what you are either for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? 
I'd say it's time you showed your face. Get him by the face. Uh. Whoa. There's nothing in there. That's why the eyes don't blink. That's horrifying. And you know that there's gonna be at least like insert the joke about like a, a, a kid goes to like I don't know anything with a mascot like like Chuck E. Cheese if they still have those and the mascot like takes off their head and there's nothing there that kid is traumatized I am not the only one making that joke what the hell are you it, it's empty inside yeah I can see There you go. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Oh. Okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. I'll definitely try my best. Promise me. Or else. Or else what? Or else I'll make you watch those kinds of streamers that do nothing but like play with their feet all day. Ew. Wait, people do that? The world's a very strange place. Y you never know, man. I don't think I want to know. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Oh, oh, uh, okay. S stakes are high. You little. This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then, and then, I. I. <laughs> Need I remind, and I hope it's true, that this is the same guy who voices Kakashi in Naruto. Just, uh, remember that. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Mysterious Bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. The culprit isn't you. He wants you to find the real culprit. Uh, I'll say this, viewers, because I don't plan on this video being as long as the first one, not even remotely close. There's a specific moment that's coming up that I want to end it with, but I want to do that part first. Um, I think it'd be do uh, good to see that, but... Before I go further, and I know some people are probably wondering about the other reason about me saying this game saved me. This is going to be a bit wordy, but I really want to share this because it's very crucial to me. It's the end of that bit because I know I left people kind of hang uh, hanging when I was telling about how the game saved me, right? So I already told you that I moved around a lot, right? And how I met someone uh, whose mom used to work in a Marriott uh, back in Columbia, Maryland. Uh, when I went to the school called Wildlife High, and they were my first legit first friend there, and they helped me get used to things. Well, uh, they asked, like, we started to pile around and stuff. He found out that I was staying at the library because I didn't really, like, want to chat with people because I was nervous and shy, blah, blah, blah. I already kind of shared bits like that back in the first part, yeah? So, this is, and it always will be one of the sweetest things. Like, I... I really wish I could find that person again because life just happened and I owe that man something that honestly changed my life for the greater but I was really lonely and I did kind of get teased a bit because unfortunately there were some people at Wild Lake High that found out I was interested in anime and games and like I talked about in the first part I did get bullied now you're probably wondering oh wait but you moved to a different school surely they don't bully you there yeah they did Unfortunately, they did. Um, it wasn't many. It was just like two really bad people, and I just couldn't get out of it. It sucked. So I kind of had a moment where I was like, kind of, for lack of a better term, breaking down. Um, before Christmas break, or excuse me, after Christmas break. This was uh, in middle of January. I'll never forget. So in Columbia, Maryland, there is a mall that I'm pretty sure should still exist. Uh, at the time, there was an EB Games over there. So, I'll never forget what he did was, when we came back after the holidays, there was a moment where we were, like, getting out. We usually, like, walk a similar direction. Like, the school's not too far from the mall. So, what we would do is, like, we would walk 
from home uh, from school to home we would end up if we went to the right we would end up going to the columbia mall so as we were leaving he was like actually there's something i want to do real quick if you want to like swap by the mall real quick and i was like okay cool so we went to the mall and what we usually do is like we check out there's like a bunch of food spots there and there was also an eb games at the time which i think got purchased by gamestop uh at one moment i'm not 100 percent on that memory but that's not important what is important though uh was how i might have actually been GameStop. i don't know i i think it was a GameStop. i don't know it was it was one of those two but when we went there we were checking out games right and i just usually look because i i don't really i didn't have much money at that time and he bought he said he was gonna buy something real quick i was like all right cool all right so i waited for him and I never forget because it was like a like a cinnamon pretzel place not too high. Uh, it was like I guess a couple minutes. He came back with something wrapped. He was like, "All right, ready to go." So we left, and of course I was curious because like, "What'd you get?" He was like, "Oh, it's a really cool game." And I was like, "Oh, what is it?" And he just hands it to me. I was like, "What is this, viewers?" When I kid you not, that this man bought me a PS2 copy, a very copy in my hands, a PS2 copy of Persona 4. I swear to you, that was the sweetest thing ever. And it still is here in my day. I, I still have like really bad hand sketching of like notes and stuff I wrote about the game, which I mean, I guess I'll have to share in a future date. I don't know, we'll see. But I I was taken aback because I was like, wait, you bought me a game? It was like, yeah, I think you'll like it. And of course we were teenagers at the time, so we weren't really allowed to do it. So I was like, how are you allowed to do it? And he still never told me how he was allowed to buy this M rate again, because I don't know. Like, I mean, at the time, of course, I'm pretty sure just like now, you can't really buy M rated games unless you're old enough. But I don't know how he did it. I legitimately don't know. Uh, but he got me it. And I was like, wait, did you get me a copy of Persona? Uh, and he was like, yeah, I thought it'd be really nice to you. And I was like, wow, that's really sweet. But what is Persona? Because, and to remind viewers, I didn't get into Persona, like, super early on. Like, I didn't just immediately discover the series. It was because of him. Now, eventually, I would get another copy of Persona because the first disc, like, was, like, it, having issues. I still have the case, but I have two copies of Persona uh, for PS2. The one that's here in my hands, the other one that doesn't work. And I know because the PS2 disc looks like it's been through a freaking blender. But that was the one that he got, so... I still have the case because the one I bought didn't come with an instruction manual and a soundtrack, which his did. And I still have the soundtrack with it. I don't know why I'm opening it, realizing that I don't have a freaking webcam because I'm broke like that. But yeah, I I got it or he gave it, he gave it to me. And I was like, what is this? It's like, I think you'll like it. I think it'll be interesting. And I was like, okay, sure. But I was such a boy scout. I was like, am I allowed to play this? It's like, then just don't let your mom find out. I was like, do you know anything about it? He was like, yeah, a friend of him told him about it, and that was kind of really all he said with it. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. And just like how I'm playing now, only difference is, unlike back then where I played this game, uh, un compared to now where I know uh, everything, back then, as you might figure, it was my first time. So I was like, I have no clue what this game is. What the heck is the bear? I kept saying the name Yasuke. I felt like I was like the people from M. Night Shyamalan mispronouncing the names. But like I got to play it and just from the get go about some kid from the city, like it was different because I was going from like a suburb area to a different suburb area. But the whole aspect of like a kid moving from their lives to a completely different environment, like it's not 100% the same like me because I didn't go to the countryside, obviously. But that whole experience of like going from one place to another, being like kind of like the new person just kind of thrown in a whole new environment you have to adapt and before someone makes a joke no when i moved to columbia i didn't just stumble upon some random murder case no if i did that'd be bad but in a really creepy way legit but not in a good way but i'm just saying like that game honestly got me through a lot and i i was just so like caught off guard because i was like why did you get this for me and he was saying like all these nice things about how he liked it i would only find out way later after unfortunately i moved but this was a long time after that he knew i was being bullied but unfortunately he didn't really know how to like help and i can't really fault him for that because it's sometimes not that easy if you see someone getting bullied or teased because of the things they like 
sometimes it's kind of hard it's it's always easy to just look the other way right but i don't know for that small group of people that decide to like take a stand and yeah i gotta give them props but like i said it's a very small group of people that are willing to to take initiative like that so and you know what honestly this was good because if he didn't get me this like i i, I try to imagine right he didn't get me this game I would have discovered my interest in Persona. I probably would have discovered an interest in other Shin Megami games in general. Well, I might have, maybe, because I'm into anime stuff, so I probably would have, but not in the same way like this. I would have never discovered Persona, which already affected me on a whole different scale, and we wouldn't be here with this game. I mean, granted, maybe I would have had a moment where I had a first experience, and I, I guess that would probably get a lot more people's attention because I could always write, oh, first time playing Persona 4, come watch. But I don't know, like, it, it really got me out of a jam. And yeah, I got teased. Yeah, but it was like, I don't know, it felt okay, like manageable, because I was able to just ignore it. And eventually, like, I moved, so it's not like that mattered. But before I moved and while I was dealing with it, I was like, I don't care because after school, I get to go home and play Persona 4. So I don't know. Uh, that might be a bit of an overshare, but I figured I'd just share it. I want to really establish why this game helped me out. And I'll probably go into further detail when I actually do the stream of Persona 4 Golden, but I just wanted to like let that out. So I apologize that I was wordy. It went on a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry, but... Thank you for bearing with me. Let's get back to the game. <clears throat> Mysterious Bear seems serious about this. Hey, what should we do? Uh, try to afford better tech because my PS2 quality is dropping. Uh, well, luckily, like I said, I wasn't planning on this one being super long, so whatever. Uh, you remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. How do you put on shirts, Igor? Like, do you always have button shirts? Because eventually, like, you gotta have a shirt that you gotta, like, put on, like, over your head, right? And he's like, well, it's easy. I start with the nose and work my way onward. Oh, well, actually, it is easy. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? I'm <laughs> sorry, I made, made myself crack up laughing with that dumb nose joke. What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you can't leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Well, I mean, when you give viewer, uh, players the freedom of choice, <laughs> I guess my options are limited. All right, you got my word. I'm in. Thank you. Damn bear, practically holding a gun to our heads. <laughs> uh, that's funny you say that. Yeah, you should save that for in February when you get a different game. <laughs> I mean, uh, let's move on. It's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Uh, let's see. I mean, we gotta start, you know, put one front in front of the other, uh, one foot in front of the other and work from there. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word too. Mr. Loxfly says, existential question. We just, where does Igor get so many assistants? I don't know, but he picks pretty. And I've not made one mistake or dissatisfaction uh, for any of his, um... Oh, uh, well, I know someone's going to twist my words on this. But I don't think I've, like, hated any of his assistants. So keep it coming, man. Hopefully when P6 eventually comes out while I'm still young and not old like him, I'll be able to actually, like, see who his next assistant is. Because all of his assistants are freaking beautiful. Like, dude... Just to go off kilter, have you seen, I think her name's Marope from uh, Persona 5X, the Phantom X? Sign me the hell up. And of course, like, Margaret and Elizabeth too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Say my name once. Once. 
You got a name? Teddy. No, no. What's really your name? No, it's really Teddy. Here. <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. You? The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Okay. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Ah, uh, this moment. What are these glasses for? Kid you not, viewers, I don't wear glasses. And I don't say this to, like, I don't know, make fun of people that wear glasses. I'm being dead serious. I still, to this day, want to get a pair of glasses so I can be, like, like do the whole, like, anime cool pose thing. Like, you put two fingers to it, or you have the thing that, uh, what's his face, Pro ZD does. Uh, I think he did a skit where it was, like, him adjusting his glasses and it had, like, the light-up effects. Oh, if I had glasses that could do that without blinding my own eyes, that would be so legit. Wouldn't it? Think about it. The, the anime makes everything cool. Like, honestly, it's not even just the fact of glasses. It's just, like, you could do, like, the most boring thing in the real world, but an anime is just, like, 50,000 times cooler. Like, you go to, like, a school and you see the custodian be, like, raking leaves. Like, what are you doing, Mr. Wilson? And you're like, I'm raking leaves. But in anime, he's like, oh, Sugoi, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm raking leaves. For every leaf that isn't raked, one more city gets destroyed. I have to do this. And then it just cuts to some cool, like, anime intro of... Some old man raking leaves in badass shonen fashion. Hey! That's dope! As you put the gall in the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. Yeah. Oh. Well, They'll help you walk through the fog. It's still technically there, but I get it. Well. I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What? D defend from what? What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. Weapons? Plural? You got me a golf club. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it, it does the job. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. <laughs> okay. Cool. How's that sound? Sounds good, man. Thanks, Teddy. Can Teddy really not fight? By touching Teddy. Uh, first off, that sentence. Let's not say that again. Try pushing Teddy. Try hitting Teddy. Uh, hmm. I'll just give him a little nudge, just just a little poke. Let's see what happens. Nice. Eh, no. Is this thing for real? Yup, it's for real, Ryuji. Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get. Oh yeah. Can I ask you something? Uh, what's up, man? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Oh. Right, forgot. For some brief moment, despite the uh, slideshow that was Teddy like flopping over, I kind of forgot this was a Mega Ten game. And as all Mega Ten fans know. Can't have a good Mega 10 game without having something depressing happening in the first 10 to 15 hours. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Just say my name once. Please, we have AI technology. Just get them to say my name once. I would... I, I'd go to sleep so peacefully if I could play a game where I put any name in. Well... With reason any name in and the game will be like oh yes master v and it's like oh nice all right let's go wait oh right 
Yeah, I'm gonna do this scene and then we're gonna call it an episode. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. Really? I wanted to know. I've only been to like maybe three places. The school, Juness, and home. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled. I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? Uh, no reason. It's clearly not because you guys smell. Seriously, like, where's your Old Spice? This episode of Persona 4 by Vitamin DGR brought to you by Old Spice. No, I'm you just kidding. not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, uh, I can't stand too close, you know. I'd get in your way. Yeah, huh? <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. And there he goes. And I'm saying this right now. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. I defend Teddy, and I think Morgana is worse. I'm saying it officially. I think Teddy is way better than Morgana. I know I probably made a lot of people upset with that statement, but if you understood the reasons, then you'd understand my feelings for this. My bias of Persona 4 aside. Also, is that a Jack Frost vending machine there? All right, Atlas, get your plug in going. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second, they're here. What? Shadows. I had a feeling they were going to attack. Uh, and what is the huh? shadows? Uh, uh. Oh. Ugh. That's <laughs> disgusting. Oh, my quality's dipping. No. How badly has my quality been dipping this whole time? Not during this. Well, at least we'll have to wait for Golden when it has better quality. Oh man, freaking guess too. I am thou. Thou art I. The time has come. Open thine eyes and call forth what is within. You didn't do it right. It's thou art I. I am thou. Thou art me. We're a happy family! Said it before in the first part. Please watch Heimdall's thing. So. No. All right, this was the scene I wanted before I ended the episode. Let that power roar. Hell yeah! But crush and everything. Let's freaking go, Izanagi. Say it what you will. I know our son looks cooler, but freaking Izanagi's the best starting persona you will ever get until P6. Fight me on that. I stand by that. All right, let's do this. Stay calm and listen. Oh, I'm as calm as a cucumber. Wait, that's not how the expression goes. Some shadows have weaknesses. I can tell this one has a weakness too. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. Try stuff out and see what works. Yeah, just gamble. It's, it's kind of how life is. You're not going to know what happens until you do it, so do it. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it'll be knocked down. Once knocked down, the enemy will be vulnerable and you can act again. However, if the enemy exploits your weakness, it will be able to act again. I lay down, I hold out, I reach out to the truth. All right, I gotta stop. Uh, keep an eye on both the shadows, weaknesses, and on your own. Yeah, this was the scene that I was waiting for, just the awakening. Of course, I didn't expect my power to be bad, but whatever. 
but you know I gotta do this once, so let's just take a second to appreciate this. I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Supporting party members, like Teddy, will remember the attacks you use on enemies, because you can't do it yourself. Select analysis for the command menu. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, the thanks range, Bob. Cool. Time to blast him. Uh, Zio! Again! He's a Nagi, man! Look at this dude! You can't tell me he's not cool! Plus, he's got two resistances! So, in your face, Arsene, and in your face, Orpheus. Fight me on that. Izanagi's way better. Well, gameplay wise. God, I can't wait to actually, like, make this a full, legit stream. I'm saying this right now, prior to when I play Persona 4 Golden on stream, like, when I actually do the playthrough. I kind of want to keep and do, like, an Izanagi. Not, not exactly a challenge, per se, but yeah, a challenge. I kind of want to keep Izanagi. Or at least as long as I can, just make Izanagi ridiculous. If anyone's watched the Persona 4 animation, more specifically, the Persona 4 Golden animation as well, I kind of want to make an Izanagi that's just bonkers. So, I'm just saying it right now, way ahead of time. I'm planning on doing that when I eventually play Golden. But for now, uh, whack. Bye! Ugh, freaking lick a tongue, lick me. There we go. We're done here. Uh, all right. That's what I had to do. That's how I'm satiated. It had to be done, and I'm content with that. I don't want to go a little too further on this one. Plus, my encoder is getting a little bad, so I already noticed that. But viewers, that is the scene I want to do, and I was able to finally touch upon the things that it is. Now, to be fair, I could have probably combined it with part one, but... I really had to use the bathroom, and I couldn't just do an app break, so I just wanted to do another part. But yes, this is going to be the end here. I know, for those who know about this game, there is more I could do. But if I go any further, then I'd want to play the game a whole 100%, and I can't, because this was supposed to be a very impromptu special. But if you want to see more, do not worry. Like I said, maybe just a second or two ago, I do plan on doing... I am planning on doing English. I'm planning on doing Persona 4 Golden after I do Portable, which if you viewers are watching this and you're like, wait, you're doing Portable as in Persona 3? Yes, I'm currently streaming Persona 3 Portable, which is on Wednesdays. Uh, Twitch, uh, you can turn on notifications, YouTube, the same for the subscribes. Um, and do not worry, Twitch, if there's any videos you feel you're missing out on, you can find it on YouTube. YouTube, that's the beauty of YouTube, because you get all the videos whenever you want. So. For the sake, or for the sake of this, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, but I do want to be very personal, so I'm just gonna mute this. I know I said this already back in the first part, but I I cannot stress enough how important this is to me. So I'm just gonna adjust the mic a little bit, and I I'm just bear with me. You can click off the video if you want; it's fine. I just want to say, like. It's been a year, a little over a year, that I've been as a content creator, right? Uh, you probably know where this is going, so I'm just gonna say it. I cannot thank you all enough for watching me. Um, like the fact that you guys supported me this long and hopefully will continue to support me, I, I, I'm just speechless because again, I, I never thought I would get this far. I didn't think I would. I some people would be like, "Oh, it's only a hundred. and the little voice in my head is like, "It's only a hundred people, but it's a hundred people, more probably. And I think about all the streams and episodes I do, like moments where it's like, "Oh, I can do better things here, or I can be more of this, or hell, even with like my video quality, hell, even this, because I know my video did because unfortunately my tech issues just suck, which is funny because part one was doing fine, but I guess something happened during part two where I'm having like the weird lag issues, so whatever. And this whole time I'm like, I want to do more things for you guys. And I felt bad, but I, I, I told myself this and I, I had friends tell me like, 
I, I talked about this in a different video that they found out that I reached 100 and I didn't think I, it was true. But when I checked, I was like, wow, I did really. And I thought I was dreaming. And I don't know. I, I, I never honestly thought I would get this far. I, I thought I was. I make jokes, but like, oh, man, my videos suck. I'm not doing anything different, whatever. And I'm not trying to go for sympathy here. I'm, I'm being serious. But the fact that you guys stuck with me, whether you stuck with me for the whole run when I played earlier games like Shantae or One Chambra or even when I did Minecraft briefly, which I should get back to, or if you're one that just joined recently, uh, whether you join me for all my games or you only care about one game in particular, I'm just grateful that you want to join me and this community I'm trying to build, the connoisseurs of the culture. Uh, I, I just like it. I don't know. It, it's it's kind of nice. And of course, I'm getting emotional about the fact that I'm talking about this during the game that honestly changed my life. Uh, I guess it's just... <clears throat> uh, man, I, I really was not expecting to get this choked up about this. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys don't know how much this means to me and I need to reinforce this. This is not a sympathy thing. I, I really don't want this to be a, oh yeah, you're doing the obligatory. Oh, when everyone gets a hundred people, we got to say something. No, I, I know I had to do something special because I got to a goal of getting a hundred people. Yeah. But I don't know. Like I, I, I never thought I would get this moment. Hell even IRL, I didn't think I would get anybody to like the stuff I would, but it's, it's always interesting finding people that let, let me start the sentence over. Like anybody on Twitch, anybody on YouTube, any social media, it's always nice to find someone, you, uh, something you like, right? Like, Maybe you like sports, maybe you like Persona, maybe you like candy, or maybe you like, I don't know, like, something random. Like, it's not, I just need to stop saying like. It's interesting when you find something you're interested in, and you, I would like to think that some people get that feeling where they want to share it with others, or at least to find something that connects them to others, like, maybe you're oh, I really enjoy this movie. I wonder if anyone enjoys that movie. And then when you see people, other people enjoying it or talking about it, then you're like, wow, that's cool. Maybe I'm similar to them or something. I don't know. So it's kind of nice because I do all of these random games. Well, sort of random games. Um, I play anime games. I play platformers. I'm trying to get into different genres. It's a little hard to get out of my shell. But even still, though, playing the games I enjoy, I'm quite certain that, yeah, Persona 4 is a big deal. But, like, talk about some of the other games I played, some of the more random games. I didn't know what Undead Darlings was. I didn't know what Haunting Grounds was. I didn't know some of these other games I played. But I still played them. And finding people interested in that, I was, it, would, it took me for a shock. Or if we want to go a completely different uh, aspect, I know Persona 4. I know uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5. I know uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. I know these games, right? And I wonder to myself, yeah, I'm doing this as a content creator, sure, but I wonder if anyone will like it. And I know it should be one of those do it for me first then do it for others later. But it's just astounding finding so many people like the same things you do. It's... I don't know. It, it just kind of makes it feel like I'm not alone. And it's it's a really good feeling, so... Yeah, okay. I, that, uh... That's, that's it, really. I, I, I don't have much else to say, so... I'll just circle back to thanking you. Every one of you. Whether you're new or you're an OG, I can't thank you enough for tuning in. Um... If any of you are jumping in expecting me to make a stream, like a full playthrough of the vanilla version of Persona 4, sorry to burst the bubble, but no, I, I just wanted to do this just briefly. And I'm planning on doing Golden legitimately after I do Portable. But like I stated, especially for the new people, 
after I do Portable, I'm going to do Golden, and after Golden, Persona 4 Golden, I'm going to do Persona 5 Royale. And, uh, yeah, the sky's the limit, because there's other games I play and other things I have in the, in the, in the works, so not just Atlas games, but others. And if you have any other games that you think might be interesting, then let me know on Discord, let me know on YouTube with the comment section, I read these. Um, but thank you. Uh, I gotta... I don't, is it fair to say, give you guys an applause? Is that right to do? I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. I wanna give you guys, like, a genuine, like, applause, because you guys deserve it. And you're like, oh, well, I mean, you're the one doing this, but you gotta realize, yeah, I'm the one doing this, but... At least for my, my confidence, it's nice to have some support, so thank you. Um, I hope to see you guys for my other games, and I hope you like some of the games I play. Whether you like all the games I play or one particular, I'm just grateful. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope to see you guys in uh, more streams and more episodes and more things I do. This is only the beginning, folks. I really, really am going to just throw that out there, that this is truly just the beginning. And uh, what's my next milestone? Probably, I don't know. I didn't think I'd get to 100, so maybe I can be greedy. Maybe I'll go for 200, 250. Let's say 250. I don't know. Let's go for 250. Although, the problem is, if I actually miraculously get to 250, what am I going to do? Because I'm playing my favorite game. What am I going to do? My second favorite game? I got to do something for 250. You know what? Baby steps. Let's let's just see what tomorrow brings. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for joining me for this special. And as always, I'll see you next episode. Which won't be P2, uh, Persona 4. It'll, it'll be something else. It, I didn't make that clear. Like, you guys can leave. I'm, I'm good. That, that's just it. No, no, no ending closing bits. You're still here? Okay. Uh, then go on YouTube and look up Heim Daisy's Persona 4 comic dub. You'll thank yourself for it. No? I have to still say more? Okay. Um, gosh, there's so many people to thank. I could thank the Academy. I, I could thank my mom for, for giving birth to me. Uh, I could thank food for keeping me alive this long. Wait, why are you guys clicking out the video? Wait. You guys are leaving now? I didn't get a chance to thank